Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to B Team Jiu Jitsu. Today we have a special treat, a peek, a peek inside the the gym of Nikki Rod. But first and foremost, it's time to play, play fetch with the dog. Leo? Hey. Ball? Attack. Alright, so bought a house a few months ago. And uh, one of the first things I did was this pull-up bar. As you can see, it has a phenomenal Picasso-like paint job. Some black and, uh, and green spray paint. It's also very tall, right? I'm six foot three, so I needed a pull-up bar so I could really hang on here and do some great stuff. When I was like planning the pull-up bar, I was like, oh, it's gonna take us like maybe three, four hours. So there's like two weeks, but no problem. Next piece of equipment. Right, the dipper, very standard. Some say that the dip is the squat of the upper body. Get on here and give it a go, right? Pretty good for the pecs, the shoulders. Let's move on to the rower, right? I like the rower. I feel as if, I feel as if back is the most important body, the most important muscle you can have to be strong in the world of grappling. Toss your feet in. Take your setting and you can row it all day. I do a few different styles of rowing. Sometimes it's a full sprint. Sometimes I just go for like 40 minutes at a steady pace and just burning some calories and uh, you know, kind of like, kind of rowing, but mentally think of, of my opponents and how I'm gonna attack competition. We have the ski machine, similar to the rower, very back heavy, right? All about pulling and getting the lats engaged. Right, I, I'm very, I'm very a big fan of the ski machine. It's like, it's like you're skiing, but uh, instead of just cruising, it's a very hard workout. You can grab this thing. You can go sprints, you can do long endurance training, but killing your back, I'm a big fan of that. All right, another back machine. We have, my absolute favorite back machine, the Hammer Strength ISO Lateral Row. This bad boy is like $3,000, maybe 5K uh, brand new, but I got a good deal on eBay. I've been to hundreds of commercial gyms, and for my body style, this is the absolute best machine to engage the lats. Pick your seat height, right? Lean over here, pick your foot placement, up high or even back low. And you have a, various, a variation of grips, right? Some high and wide, some low and tight. Um, I'd say my top two grips is this one right here, like a close grip variation. Cool, really get it engaged. And then I also like switching it up here, I get a really good stretch and a great contraction. I like to do various things on here. Like sometimes I go for reps, like 15, 20 reps. Other times I'll do really slow reps or I'll even do pause reps where I'm here, I'll hold for 30 seconds or a minute and then let go and then hold 30 seconds or a minute, let go and go for the full stretch and then contract. So this right here, hammer strength iso lateral row, absolutely my number one back machine. The hardest machine is by far the assault bike, right? There's no weights involved but it builds mental fortitude. This is a machine that you can really push the pace, right? We have this setting on here, the Tabata, I think they call it, um, where you sprint for 10 seconds, rest for 20 seconds. Absolutely engaging all of the cardiovascular, cardiovascular organs and fibers that you have, and uh, really just lets you blow it out. So salt bike, absolutely killer. And then this tire, right? So very simple, have a standard tire. Inside here, I drilled a hole. So I have a, uh, have like a lug nut in there, right? Tied off to a, to a metal chain. I toss this on here. I put some weights, 45, 25, whatever you want. And I have a couple different attachments. Sometimes 
I'll pull in this fashion with one arm or even pulling with two. I also have a belt that I attach to this bad boy. Right here. Or put the belt on and I walk either full, either backwards pulling weight or in the forward direction. But either way, great workout. So this is some of my tools. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, also we have dumbbells, right? Every standard in the home gym. We have a few different uh, various weights of dumbbells. Have the 40s, 25s, 65s, and the barbells. Sandbags as well. Sandbags good for carrying weight around. Something else I do too, um, because because I see some of these like. Uh, these uh, arm wrestlers do this, right? And I just think it's good for like the little little muscles you have in your arms and shoulders and whatnot. Is I take this uh, jiu-jitsu belt, right? Put a hefty little knot in it, and then toss a couple weights in here. You can do 45s, couple 25s, whatever. But use your Devin Lowe right grip, right? Professional arm wrestler, where you go in, around, and lace it over. And here, you just do small motions, engaging all the tendons and fibers in here. You can also hit it up here and, and practice just pronating and supinating your, your wrists and grip. And really just getting tight in it, every, everything up in here. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of various, various workouts. Um, I'm a back dominant grappler, as you can tell from my extremely wide lat spread. So dumbbells or curls, everything else really for back and or endurance. Again, for jiu-jitsu, having a strong back is a must. That's it. Plus the puppy. The puppy. So a little circuit I did of hammer strength throws, ski machine, ski, and a couple pull-ups, total bar. Did like a moderate weight on the on the isometric lateral roll, 20 reps. Ski machine, 10 calories as fast as possible, and then right into five pull-ups, five tools of bar. I did that for about five sets um, with no break in between. I was simulating a match. In a match, you don't really get to pick your breaks. Typically in competition, it's a, it's a continuation of momentum and cardiovascular endurance and technique. And when I work out, I like to simulate a match occasionally. So sometimes it's a short match. So do a short workout. Other times I do a 15 minute match, but the match will be, you know, in the lifting, in the lifting gym, simulating competition. And other exercises I do alone, sometimes I do like a, uh, a long duration cardio, maybe 40 minutes or so at about 20% of my heart rate. And um, 
yeah, I like the constant change of of uh, of pace when I'm lifting. I like to adjust my lifting to favor myself in the match in competition. If you guys want to build muscle, learn how I do it. My instructional build sig biceps, build endurance, build the physique that you want. I'm out of here.